You know, what's important to know is that Susan made you go to Essence Festival to see the reader and engage with them on the ground because she's like, oh, you all in New York, you're so fancy, you're in the, you know, whatever. You need to see who the black women really are. And that was super powerful, serving the beloved community in the flesh. So the Essence Festival is also critical to the survival of the brand. Essence at its core knew that it needed to engage black women in a real way. Thank you so much. For the city of New Orleans, the Essence Music Festival has become a summer salvation, drawing thousands of tourists to the city to experience local music and culture, while at the same time bringing the city national attention. The foundation of that festival is actually that it was a celebration of the 25th anniversary of Essence. New Orleans is becoming your home away from home, it seems. <laughs> Interestingly said, yeah. yeah. Last year, you had 150,000 people attend the three-day festival. What kind of feedback did you get? I think it was wonderful. Uh, we heard from people all across America. Uh, people came to celebrate uh, not only the music, but certainly the seminars that uh, we gave uh, during the day, seminars that dealt with community, uh, how black women and black men can act together, and what's happening with politics. Now, was there any delay in, in spreading the word about the Essence Festival because there was that uh, disagreement for a while over the affirmative action um, issue uh, until the governor clarified his position on affirmative action? How did that affect uh, ticket sales? There was some uncertainty with regard to whether we were coming back, uh, and it certainly affected our ticket sales. But once we made the decision after we got the governor to issue a new executive order, uh, ticket sales have begun to hopefully pick up and will pick up.